I'm going to show you how to get BGFX rendering libraries set up on a Linux project using CMake for your project. So welcome and uh, strap in because it's going to be a bit of a ride. BGFX is located on GitHub. You can just go either to this little site here you see or you can just search for it. So it's BGFX. It's made by this guy. I'm not sure how to pronounce his name. It's a very popular repo. It's known to be pretty stable and useful, and it's been used in quite a few games. So if we scroll down, I think he's got a few screenshots somewhere. Yeah, here we go. The Air Mech was made with BGFX. CMFT Studio, Brown, Off-Road Legends, Torque 6. Minecraft uses it. Buckle up. So once you're ready to start a project and integrate uh, BGFX, I would recommend doing it as a sub-module. To do that, let's go ahead and open Visual Studio Code, and we are using Linux here. And we're just going to go to Open Folder. And I'm just going to make a new folder for this BGFX project. And OK. So what we have here is just an empty folder and a brand new uh, project and we're going to go ahead and initialize it with CMake and to do this the way I'm doing it you will need some add-ons mainly this uh, CMake from TWXX, uh, the CMake from Microsoft and uh, I'm using this IntelliSense as well so just in case you can't find the stuff I'm using that's what I'm using. So you want to hit Control Shift P and look for CMake Quick Start and just click that, click your kit Give it a name, BGFX project, library or executable. We're going to be making an executable, and there we go. We don't need, we're not going to be using CPAC in this. We're not going to be using CTest. All we need is those three lines there minimum required version, project, and add executable with our main. So let's go ahead and add in the BGFX stuff. First of all, you need to initialize this project with Git. So you want to go to the terminal. Or open a terminal however you want, go to this directory, and just do git init, and it initializes it. And to submodule this in, you just got to uh, type in a few commands. So first of all, you want to go back to GitHub and get the directory, or get the uh, link. You just go do that, copy it. I assume you know how to clone. It's sort of similar to cloning, except we're going to be submoduling instead. So now that I've got the link, and maybe I want to put them in a certain folder, or you can do them all on the root. I'll show you how to put them on a, in a folder. Uh, so we're just going to make a folder here. I'll just do a mixer, uh submods. I'll just call it submods. So now we have a folder called submods. And say we want to put all these in here. So we do git submodule add paste in that repo. And then the path we want to save it to. So we're going to do sub mods. And then we're also going to want it to go in its own folder, BGFX. So there we go. We hit that, let it do its clone. And in sub mods, it'll make a folder for BGFX. And we're going to do the same thing for the other required libraries, which are going to be BX and B image. I'm not going to worry about BNAT. I guess I could, I'll put BNAT in there too. Why not? So we're just going to run the same command again, except this time we're going to just call it bx. And it's almost the same directory, just bx.git. We'll grab that one. And bimage. And we'll go ahead and grab bnet too, because why not? However, I'm not going to be doing anything with bnet. Okay. Now in our submods folder, we have all of those modules somewhat ready to go. However, they still need built and included into the project. So I'm going to show you how to do that now. So we're going to do one thing. This is something I covered in my CMake tutorial episode three and about submoduling. And that's just a quick little command you can add to your root level CMake to make sure whoever clones your product 
project downloads all the submodules, and that is this command right here. That's just that little set update submodules as needed, and as you can see, it just runs the process uh, git submodule update init recursive. So it just runs that command submodule update init recursive to grab all your submodules, and then you can do something to check and make sure they exist. And we're gonna want another one of these for bnet. They all use a make file. And then we're putting them in the submods folder. So all this does is make sure that the make file exists in that directory, which is confirmation enough that we got it downloaded. If not, it'll give you a fatal error. All right, so now what you need to do is build them. And you can build them with a CMake command, but it's not recommended because it will do it during your CMake configure, which is a little odd. So I'd recommend just doing it separately. And if you go look at the documentation, he shows you how to do all that. You just go to BGFX, look at the documentation, go to building over here, and he basically shows you what to do. Of course, you clone it. You can just clone it and build it all. Uh, I'm showing you with a sub-module example. And if you get totally stuck, you can always go back here. You also want to make sure you do the apt-get for all these commands here. So on Linux, we basically want to do a make of the version we want. So it should be pretty simple. Let's do a make Linux release 64. And all you do is you go to your terminal, change directory to submods, submods, pgfx. Now basically this just wants those sub libraries, bx, uh, bimage, bnet, it wants them in the same directory. So as long as you've put all these in the same directory, this make will integrate those uh, just fine. Let's just do a uh, ls-all here and see what we've got. You can see that there is a make file right here. So all you type in is make and then release 64, just as he had it on there. Except we need Linux in front of this. Linux dash. And once you hit that, it should build this whole library. Do you have any errors? You'll need to address those. Okay, well that literally took forever to complete and it has gone through everything. So basically what you want to do is just go to your terminal, go all the way at the bottom. Just make sure there's no errors. Warnings are fine. Yeah, there are some warnings. No big deal. But just make sure there are no errors. And if there are, you have to address them. Maybe you need something. Maybe you need to have to get something. I don't know, you'll have to you have to address that individually because there could be a lot of different things. But in general, as long as you have the GCC compiler and you've got the submodules correct or you've cloned these correctly and they're on in the same directory, it should succeed. So once it succeeds, we can go to the next part. Now what we're gonna do here is uh, update our CMake. And what I got here is uh, if it's Unix, we're gonna leak the libraries, well, GL and X11 because uh, those are going to be needed for the rendering. Since we're on Linux, we're going to go ahead and set it up for OpenGL. Uh, you can also do Vulkan if you want, but I'm not going to get into that. I'm not sure if it works correctly, but we're going to stick with GL. So we're definitely going to need those. We need to target link directories, and that's going to be the submods folder. BGFX, build, Linux 64, GCC, bin, so basically if we go to bgfx, we'll see a build.build .build folder, gcc, bin, and that's where it's storing all the libraries. So we just need to set target link directory so it can actually find them. And what we're going to do next here is it, we check the build type. If it's debug, we are going to link the debug libraries. And before it goes ahead and links them, it makes sure that at least one of them exists. So this is just another if not exists. If the debug base debug library doesn't exist, then I'll throw an error. 
And if it does, we're going to go ahead and link them. Now we could do further checks to check the rest of these and make sure they're built. Uh, they should be, though. Let's just scroll over a little bit and see what we got. Uh, live BX, live B image, live BGX. I don't think the net one's in here. Yeah, that must be separate. So I'm going to delete this net one. Don't really need the net. That would be a whole separate thing. So that links the debug if your project's set to debug. And this one links the release if your project is set to release. And, it, and I put a little message in here, go to BGF folder and run make Linux release. We just built the release one, so that's what we're gonna mess with. But you can also build the debug one and that works fine too. Now I'm gonna set my CMake build to release. That way it uses the right one. And I gotta fix a few more things here. There we go. And I also put an else in here. So if you're not on Unix, it's just going to have another fatal error and say, this is only for Linux right now, basically, what's on your hard drive? Now that we've got that all built, the next step is to actually implement it in your main, to pop up a window, start rendering things, make an object. This is a little complicated. You might want something like GLFW as another submodule to do your windowing and, and stuff, but you can just take advantage of whatever OS you're using. And here in BGFX, if you go down to examples, you'll see 00, 0 all the way up to 42. And these are examples that should work. Now you'll notice if you go to any of these, like let's look at this hello world. He's using common, BGFX, utils, logo. Now these are the logos right here, but the rest of this stuff is actually in common down here in the samples folder. So if you want to use those as well, you either have to build this common library or, well, I'll figure it out and I'll get you an example. Okay, so probably what you want to do at this time is change directory into the runtime and run some of the examples. Uh, this is something that is in the documentation, but what you do is you just change directory. I'm already there, but I'm gonna go back a few. So if you're on your project root here, just this BGFX project, you wanna change directory and just start typing in. We're gonna go to sub mods, BGFX, you know, wherever you have it built. Examples, runtime, runtime. So this runtime area is where you should be if you're running any of the examples because it has all the resources in it. I do an ls you just see some i guess i can do it this way and you can see them better but it has fonts images messages message shaders all that stuff so what you would do here is you just do a run of any of the examples and then the build you build it for and then bin examples and you'll see a few there's a few that it built automatically Come on, get the cursor into the terminal. It will run this draw stress. And it's got I am GUI running. Now, just real quick, I want to see if there's anything else able to be ran. Oh, okay, this says all of them, I guess. It's the hello world. There's the cubes. Okay, so I guess you just want to build examples release and then you can switch between them all. Uh, with this little program here. You can see all the examples. And this one, okay, there it is. It just here for a minute, but... It looks like we had a segmentation fault on that one. Who knows, it might be something to do with my driver or my video card, I couldn't tell you should be able to get some good examples going there. It has it all ready and ready to be linked. So here it is all linked to my main. BGFX is linked, the image is linked, BX is linked, and my main is ready to be programmed up and, and do stuff with BGFX. All right, interjecting with a few other hot tips. So anytime you change CMake at all, like you type one character, make one space, 
it runs again. So if you're doing things like file copies and you have a typo, it's going to just redo all the it's, it's garbage. So you, what you want to do is just hit control shift comma and yeah, you know, search for configure CMake and uncheck this configure on edit because it's going to ruin your life. It's driving me nuts. Okay, after what has been uh, a lot of work and Googling and figuring things out, I've got one of the samples to run in my own main.cpp, and I'm going to show you how to do that. I hope you, I really hope you upvote this video and share it or whatever, any kind of support, because this is this has not been exactly fun. All right, so here's what I had to do to get one of the samples running in my own main. Uh, where do I even start? So I decided I'm just going to go... I'll start from the beginning. I decided I was going to try to get the example 01 cubes into my own main. So I literally just went to this CPP, copied the whole file with Control A, to cop, uh, select all, Control C to copy all. So copy, grab the whole thing, copy the whole thing, and get out of this and go to my main.cpp, and I just pasted it in. So one of the things I had to do, and this is a hack I found out by doing some Google. Google foo on GitHub even, uh, it needs this underscore main because somewhere in one of these libraries or something, it, it needs a reference to this underscore main underscore. So you do have to put this on the bottom of the file as well. And uh, that, se yeah, that seems to be a hack. Even in the code itself, it is mentioned as a hack. So I guess I'll just show that if I can even find it. Holy crap, I've Googled so many things. Yeah, here we go. Someone else had the problem, undefined reference to main. As someone said, I eventually just put this somewhere regular next to my regular main to make the file happy. Yeah, so, and then uh, creator closed it. But I also searched through Google and he is apparently doing it through a Lua input somewhere. So that's a whole nother realm of things. So that's one thing you gotta do is you gotta put that in there. And in my Let's see, in my CMake, I had to add some things. So here's what I did in my CMake to get it all working. So uh, let's see, I'm gonna narrow this down. So the rest is still the same. Now I had to do some includes. So this is something I kind of glazed over earlier. You definitely need to do some includes to your project. You need the sub modules, uh, BGFX, uh, BX, and B image. You need those all included, but also if you're gonna use any of these examples, he uses some third-party stuff. So you also need to uh, include uh, third-party and examples common, since he uh, uses stuff from those. All right, and I also needed to include a few or a link a few new things. I needed to link pthread and DL lives, and uh, DL lives is through a macro like so and pthreads, it's just pthreads, so those need to be added to the link libraries in general. Now this is where it gets really tricky, and I didn't set up the debug one, but it would be the same just with debug. So in the release, you also need bimage underscore decode release, and example common release, and example glue release. Of course you could do the debug versions of those up there if you're doing those. I suppose I could just go ahead and add those uh, like a boss like a boss yeah in case anybody does a debug build and uh, so that was the big thing getting all those in there that took care of all the linker errors and also last but not least I did a file copy to copy all the runtime stuff into my CMake binary dir that way when I go into my build directory over here and I actually run uh, where is it my bgfx project executable it sees all that stuff so uh finally yeah I, I did a change directory into my build here as you can see and it can type in the bgfx project and actually run it so there you go using similar methods you should be able to get any of the ex examples running and if you run into more linker errors when you're running something else uh, well, you might need to link other things, do some Googling on what to link, but in general you can find all the stuff, all the different linkers for BGFX under this build bin and anything that uses a .a. So there's that decode release that we had to include. 
So if you're using a project that uses ENCODE, you'll have to include that one and so on. And the order of these does matter. Uh, like I noticed if I put GLUE below the common release, it would not work. So common's got to be done before GLUE. And that's just as windowing stuff. I'm not using any external windowing library. I'm just using what he's got here. And I believe that comes with common and GLUE. So that's it. Hopefully that gets you going. Look for the link below to this source code. I will upload it. And uh, once again, thank you for watching. Hope you have some luck getting this up and going. It, it is, it's been a lot of work to, to make this tutorial, so I hope you like it. And uh, peace out, guys.